That's no moon. It's Star Wars Battlefront Elite Squadron. The Star Wars Battlefront series continues as a handheld exclusive with Elite Squadron, and it is an unquestionably ambitious title for the PSP. This time, Battlefront promises simultaneous battles in space and on land. If you've played Battlefront before, Elite Squadron is pretty much the same. You play as either clone or rebel and battle to destroy critical enemy hardware or control map points. Well done, X2. You battle across 11 locales ripped from the six films and meet famous characters like Mace Windu, who looks more like a misshapen cannibal baby than a Jedi Master. Your prowess with a melee weapon defies expectations, X2. This is all a lot of fun until you realize the controls are dodgy at best. Blasting bad guys would be easy if you weren't slewing around like a drunk clone trooper on shore leave. I can just imagine the look on Dooku's face when he hears about this. Auto-targeting is essential. If you choose to go manual, may the force be with you. This is where the fun begins. Actually, it's more like the place where fun goes meh. We love Star Wars and we love the Battlefront franchise, but the handheld format is just wrong for this game. It feels like they stuffed a 10-pound Wampa into a 5-tauntaun carcass. This is not the Battlefront game you're looking for. A 3. Another happy landing. Out of 5.